hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to see some of the azure data factory interview related question which is generally asked in an interview okay so let us start with that so first question and most important question is like what is azure data factory and why do we need it so this particular question we have to explain it properly because uh, based on this actually will they will get to know whether you have already worked in azure data factory or not okay so make how actually you can answer that make some scenario of the question and based on that actually try to give a example okay most of the people what actually they do they actually try to give a answer like a azure data factory is nothing but a, it is a orchestration a data integration tool generally we use for the etl activity okay so for the what is idf that is fine but how actually you can answer why do we need that is a important thing okay so that actually you have to give very wisely okay how actually you can give for taking example suppose you are uh, for i'm taking a just a random example okay suppose you are working in a one company okay so this is your company suppose this is your gaming company okay so in this gaming company what actually happening uh, you are generating uh, some logs okay there are petabytes uh, petabytes of the data which you are generating and you are loading into this cloud so this is your cloud space where actually you are generating your data and you are storing okay now you also have uh, some transaction related data okay some you have transaction related data like the, all the kind of the upsell uh, upsell flow right upsell means nothing but suppose you are purchasing a game you have you have a, some kind of the subscription that you are purchasing so all the kind of the data what actually happening these are residing into a on prem system okay so what actually happening you have some data transaction related data that is uh, that is getting stored into a on prem system okay so this is available in a on prem system okay similarly you also have uh, some kind of the customer uh, customer related data customer related data okay so different different kind of the uh, suppose you also have a marketing data like all the kind of the campaign you are doing so this all the data is available in a uh, on prem system okay on prem system this other data is available and uh, all the gaming logs related data is available into a cloud space okay and other uh, data also uh, uh, available in a cloud space okay now you have a data which is available in a different different space one is in cloud and one is in a on prem system so what actually a business wants right the business want to take some decision okay how actually the customer behavior is this how actually the upsell and downsell is going on upsell flow is going on how actually the actually they wanted to increase the user experience based on the logs which is available okay so what actually data engineer or the data um, data analyst do is right they actually try to bring this all the data into a common space they actually try to bring this all the data into a common space okay we actually try to bring in the, all the data into common space like from on prem and the cloud they want to join it right and they want to bring into a common space okay and based on that actually they will perform some kind of the transformation and they will try to take some decision out of it okay based on the data analysis okay so how actually we can do this all the things we can do this all the things with the help of the azure data factory okay so what azure data factory and how actually azure data factory helps right so data factory will helps to bring all the data which is available in a different space okay so suppose you have data in a cloud suppose you have data in on prem suppose you have data that is available in other sql okay so to bring all this data into a common space the azure data factory actually helps okay so azure data factory is nothing but a, this is a in data integration service which actually try to perform some kind of the etl and the e elt kind of the activity okay to extract the data from a different store and bring into a common space and uh, either you can also perform some kind of the transformation or after this actually you can perform a transformation means it supports both etl and the elt activity okay so this is how actually you have to explain okay so i hope you got it how actually we have to answer the what is adf and the why do we need it okay now let us move on to the next question that is a uh, different components in a adf okay so we'll try to understand what are the different components which is available so this question actually you can answer like we have a different components like uh, we have a data set which we are aware we have a uh, link service right link service we can say data uh, integration runtime integration runtime okay so uh, these are the different kind of the components which is available 
okay and we uh, we can also say the pipeline which we develop we can say the all the kind of the activity like copy activity we have we have a, a delete activity these are the part of the components part i hope you got it now uh, now if they will ask like uh, about right what is link service so link service is nothing but a uh, this is nothing but a uh, this is a uh, connection factor suppose you have a data that is available in a uh, suppose amazon s3 location okay so if you want to connect with the amazon s3 location right there should be some linking factor okay so uh, this actually help help link service okay data set is nothing but uh, the first uh, what actually we do data set is nothing but uh, where actually your uh, data is suppose your data is available in amazon s3 right suppose this is a csv file okay so that particular data actually indicate our the data set okay i hope you got it now let us talk about the integration runtime and that is also a uh okay we'll talk in the next question uh now we'll let's talk about the pipeline pipeline is nothing but all the kind of the uh data flow actually which you try to develop right suppose you are uh, you are developing a, a copy activities or delete activity and you are moving a data from one blob to another blob right so all the kind of the pipeline whatever we are developing that is nothing but a pipeline activity is nothing but you are performing copy activity delete activity so this kind of the activity which is already available in adf so that we call it a ad activity okay now let us talk about the Uh, integration runtime okay that is also asked in a question so integration runtime is nothing but uh, it provide the environment to execute your pipeline okay so you generally get the uh, different environment where we actually try to execute our pipeline so different kind of the integration runtime we have okay one is the self hosted the second one is the auto resolve and the third one is the ssis okay so self hosted is nothing but uh, suppose you have a data suppose you have data that is available in a data available in a uh, different server and different network you can say okay network data that is available in a different network and you want to uh, uh, execute that right so in that kind of the scenario we generally use a self hosted auto resolve is nothing but a, that is a by default also but auto resolve we generally use it for the suppose you have a suppose you want to perform a one uh, pipeline okay so you have a data that is available in a as your blob storage from one blob to another blob you want to do okay so uh, your data that is available in a cloud based right uh, uh, I mean both the data is available in your uh, you are seeing and the you are uh, source both are available in a cloud right so in that kind of the scenario we generally use a auto resolve but the self hosted is like suppose you are trying to connect one network that is available you have some private network suppose vm is available right so in that kind of the scenario we use a self hosted ssis is nothing but a generally for the ssis kind of the data uh, suppose you have a ssis etl pipeline available right? and you want to do some connection over there so in that kind of the scenario we use ssis okay so integration runtime is nothing but uh, it provide the environment to execute our uh, pipelines okay i hope you got it now let's try to cover some of the uh, scenario based question which generally the, uh, people ask okay the fourth question looks like i want to get all the info of the file that is available in a blob storage which activity we use in adf suppose uh, for taking examples what actually they will say Uh, they will say like suppose you have a data that is uh, available in your blob storage this is your blob storage okay now you have one uh, one file okay and you have a second file in that particular storage account in the particular storage and in the particular bucket you have a three file okay now you want to know the each file details okay file 1 file 2 file 3 and what is the name of this file so which particular activity help me to get this all the info so in that kind of the scenario we generally use a get metadata activity okay you remember with the help of the get metadata activity we can we can get the info okay i hope you got it now fifth question let us try to cover uh, what we used to execute sql query suppose uh, we have a scenario where we want to execute our sql query so in that kind what kind of the scenario we can use that okay we can use a, a lookup in a lookup we can uh, pass the any kind of the store procedure and also the store procedure also we can use okay and there actually we can uh, use our the uh, sql query okay now our next question is like what we used to delete a file for deleting a file we generally use a uh, delete activity which is available okay delete activity will help us to delete a data okay i hope you got it yeah that's it in this video ne 